I just wanted to make a small game about a lawyer. But that escalated quickly. Hey YouTube, haven't seen us for a while, but I was busy making games. And while I just have this small channel here on YouTube, I was working hard on my TikTok thing. I think I'm almost an influencer. Therefore, I wondered what you might like. I could take a TikTok trend and turn it into a horrible game. Uh, yeah, that worked. But I had an even better idea. I asked my community to name a famous TikToker to make a game about them. And they gave me this guy. His name translates roughly to Mr. Lawyer. He's probably Germany's most influential lawyer, who teaches us unworthy people everything about law and likes to dress as... Hmm... Yeah... Uh, basically everything. So now I'm going to make a game about him. Let's go! I started without a plan by drawing a pixel art version of our main protagonist. Furthermore, I made an idle and run animation. I just needed to drag it into my new Unity project and the lawyer is in the game. Twice. Don't ask. Next I wrote a script to be able to control him and thus we have our game character. He's just not able to do a lot. So I had to create some abilities for him. I thought it would be fun to make him throw coats. And it looks like he's using the book as a bed. Yeah, I kinda like it. To let him throw the book, I scripted it into the game. Now we just need to adjust the throwing speed and it's done. You can officially throw books. Now we need some throwy... Throw? Throat? Throat? Enemies. We need enemies. I once again asked my community and they voted for teachers who won't let you go on toilet during class. The pure evil. To be honest, I had no idea that this is a problem. Just a friendly advice, if that's your problem as well, try this product. But since everyone wanted to fight their teachers virtually, I drew one, as well as some basic animations. And I really like the way it turned out. Next, it was time to create some backgrounds. Since we are fighting teachers, I wanted to start the game at a schoolyard. Therefore, I made the so-called tile map. The different parts of the map can be combined to create the level. This is already so much better than the boring basic blue we had before. But you still can't jump, so I changed the... Well, the jumping strength might be a little bit too much. I fixed it, made some jumping animations, and now everything works as expected. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how we ended up with this. Now that the jumping is done, I really started to like the movement. I even added some physical interactions, but the teachers are still kinda weird. Consequently, I should program an AI. To do so, let's start very simple, with an enemy that just runs at you, or just runs away. What do I know? But I guess that's also an effective way to win battles. Okay, now the teachers are running at you, and there's nothing that can go wrong with this. Yeah, the teacher just needs to be able to fight back. I made this attacking animation and as soon as the teacher reaches you, he will attack. We just need a damage effect and the enemy is capable of battling you. But the background is still very boring and empty. I drew multiple layers of hills, trees and buildings to fill the void. But we can do better than this. As a professional game developer, I know that we have to use the parallax effect. This is... Um, boring, boring, boring. Ah, when the background moves slower than the foreground due to perspective. And this effect makes the world look so much better and more realistic. Furthermore, I also added a school, so we can get into it for the second level. And the school is super ugly. Typical German school, by the way. To change things up a little, let me introduce two new teachers to you. We have the old bag who throws chalk at you. Who throws chalk at you. Thanks. And the classic fat, unathletic sports teacher who likes dodgeball a little bit too much. But the fighting system still kinda sucks. Throwing books is just too overpowered. Our lawyer needs to learn some new moves. Let's start with a simple slide attack. Well, yeah. Nice! I improved the sliding and also gave him an uppercut, normal and dash down attack. You can also combine those attacks for some nasty combos. But it's still kind of boring. So I polished it and drew some more fighting effects. Compared to the old ones, it's already much better. The fighting looks way more action-packed, but it still needs some pow, wham, and smack. To get this, I drew additional hitting effects. Now we're talking. And since I'm already polishing, how about some running and jumping effects? I used Unity's particle system to create them, and this is what I got. Yeah, that's not it. 
I reworked the effects and it got way better. Still not too good, but better. Now the last thing we still need is a health system. Instead of a heart, I drew a gavel for health. And I also made this mystic glass here with the paragraph symbol. You will have five lives and every time you get hit, you will lose one. But now there needs to be a way to heal yourself up again. This is where you're gonna need the sphere. You can collect paragraphs and they will fill up your glass with sand. You will get paragraphs by defeating the enemies and you can use the sand to heal. I guess I played too much Hollow Knight recently. But the system is really great. And with this, the foundations of the game are done. Next, I will make a level in the school, more enemies, bosses and uh, yeah. If you want to see that, you should subscribe to my channel. Bye!